Typhoon Malakas looks to be peaking right now as a strong Category 4 Typhoon, currently with winds of around 140 miles per hour. It's at 18.3 degrees north, 137.4 degrees east, and mostly it's remaining out to sea, which is good news. Right now, an estimated pressure of 931 millibars, moving northeast at 9 miles per hour. This is as of 8 p.m. Japan Standard Time. So here it is displayed on the map. There are no land areas in its immediate vicinity, but it's got a large wind field. You can see the Mariana Islands off towards the bottom right hand side of that screen. Um, and the strong wind field, a large wind field, I should say, in the southeastern quadrant there, 230 nautical miles. In kilometers, it's currently 778 from South Iwo Jima, 818 from Iwo Jima, 1090 from Ogasawara, 1628 from Kagoshima, and 1944 from Tokyo. The storm will generally uh, pitch towards the uh, northeast as it is doing so right now. Uh, and then it will uh, move through the Agasawara Island chain. Uh, they generally get a few strong typhoons a year and then off towards the Northern Pacific. And here is the uh, expected trajectory as we move forward, looking at those wind fields as the uh, category changes. Of course, uh, it will weaken and turn post-tropical probably by the time we get here. And what's left of it will end up trailing along the Alaskan Islands and could actually um, threaten the uh, coast of mainland Alaska uh, with tropical storm force winds but of course it won't be tropical at all it will be your standard extra tropical cyclone well here it is right now the JMA uh, obviously rather low as they typically are JTWC going with 130 miles per hour the last update but ATCF now at 140 and ADT supports that the satellite uh, methods um, and the JTWC forecast map on the left hand side there pretty much saying uh, what we showed you just before and that wind feels staying pretty um, um, normal and uh, consistent over the next five days. Here's the GFS model run. You'll see the extension of that green zone, that's tropical storm force winds over a very large area as it makes that post-tropical transition. It gets sloppier as it does so. And then you can see it off towards the far northeastern side of your screen near the Alaskan Islands. But uh, in between now and then, um, maybe there is a small opportunity for more strengthening. It will hold intensity for a little bit. Uh, and then certainly by the time it gets to the Agasawara Island chain, it will start weakening much more quickly. By then we'll probably be seeing it as a strong category 3. Right now it's uh, getting towards mid-range category 4. Here's the rainfall estimates. All, pretty much all of it is going to be out to sea. Uh, all the other areas that you see overland aren't related to the storm. Um, for shipping interests the center, near the centre of the storm we could be seeing up to 350 millimetres of rain marked by those little green areas. The Agasawara Island chain, maybe we'll be looking at something like uh, trying to make out the colours there, probably towards 200 millimetres of rain. It will be moving fairly quickly by the time it's uh, shoving itself through those islands um, and will of course be on that weakening trend. Sea surface temperatures are in its favour, around 27, maybe pushing 28 degrees Celsius. Those temperatures there are displayed in Fahrenheit and they'll start to cool. By the time it gets to the Gasawara Islands, we're probably looking at borderline 25 degrees Celsius and then you'll start to see more substantial weakening. Uh, it's interesting to see a storm like this so strong as it piles towards the north this early in the season, but it is doing so and it's looking good for it when we look at this satellite imagery. This is visible slash infrared as the uh, sun went down uh, and this is the uh, enhanced infrared channel which is looking particularly impressive with those strong cloud tops into the minus 90s on the northeastern side. Water vapor also looking good, you'll see all of that dry air all the black areas, extreme dry air to the northwestern side of the storm and so it's thankful for the storm that it's moving northeastwards and there's the air mass looking very good on the satellite imagery. One to gore cap with your eyes and hopefully one that isn't going to be very impactful. Oh,